Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, right now let's take a look at the gold market, just a couple of words on this market because you can see that the recent action on Friday was really not significant so in fact we have here the inside sessions to this one uh, that's why it, it hasn't changed significantly the overall picture on the gold market uh, if you will read our weekly research you guys will see that uh, the fundamental data doesn't support this upward action. So if we'll take a look at the safety uh, recent report and um, on the data from the SPDR fund, you will see that no real inflow of the money uh, has happened in the gold market. Uh, the commitments of traders uh, reports on even opening new shorts and decreasing of the net long positions. SPDR fund has reported on the new seven tons outflow within this upward action. Even more, we could say that within the two weeks since this upward action has started, SPDR fund has lost approximately 14 tons of the gold in the storages. So that means that current upward action mostly speculative and it is not supported by some real money of the institutional investors, uh, the, the sentiment has not changed on the market and we would not see any real reversal in the opinion of the traders. That's why uh, mostly this upward action probably will be doomed, at least if nothing will change in the, uh, in, in the nearest perspective. So if uh, the sentiment and the overall geopolitical situation and uh, other factors will remain mostly intact and uh, will remain mostly the same, uh, the situation will not change significantly. This upward action is doomed and uh, probably sooner rather than later the market will turn down. Our major task here, as you understand, probably is to catch this moment where a market will turn down. Currently, guys, uh, you can see that the market has hit the daily wear bot and has passed through the significant confluence resistance areas. 1190-1205 area, although this penetration was mostly like a spike, so market just has shown the spike up and returned right back down and close as a result below the 1205 area. But still, this penetration was significant. The market almost has reached the 50% level. In this case, we could say that if even this uh, level somehow is valid, the validity of this level probably is rather weak. Um, and we probably could tell about the breakout for this area. Anyway, uh, by this action hitting of this uh, daily overbought, market has completed the first leg of the upward action. But unfortunately, guys, the, the major problem here is we do not have any patience. So uh, here we have only seven candles to the upside, and we can't apply here, for example, Giordanopoli, uh, Brent Vada context, or Giordanopoli even double repo. This is very small for us, not sufficient for us to, uh, to treat it as the background for these uh, setups. Uh, and in fact, we do not have any other patrons, only maybe intraday Kibi trade that we have discussed and that right now stands in progress. That's why on the gold market here, all that we could do is just to watch how market will turn to the downward retracement that has started, that we have expected, and how it will react on the significant support intraday levels. That will let us to understand whether this upward action has finished and market is turning to the downside again, or market stands just as a minor retracement and uh, is preparing to show another one to the upside. Some kind of the ABCD patient. For that, for, for that, for that purpose, we need to take a look at the intraday charts, particularly on the four-hour time frame chart. Here, guys, again, you you could see the same ABC 
page from D1618 extension that market has here. By the way, guys, particularly, maybe particularly do this existence of this target, market has penetrated this confluence resistance. So Jod Napoli advanced uh, approach to the breakout of the levels tells that if market has untouched target slightly higher than the significant area and if it has penetrated this level just to complete this target and then return it back down, it keeps this level valid. That's why we said that probably uh, somehow this level is could could be valid yet uh, still so um, here we have we, we see that market has reached it and turned to the downside that's how our KB traders stands in progress right now but action as you can see is not very fast so it probably is, is, it could be described as the uh, gradual without any acceleration so currently it mostly reminds the retracements not some thrusting action to the downside to speak about final reversal, we need to see something, if not this one, but at least we need to see something uh, more uh, strong to the downside. But right now we can't say that this is uh, looks like the thrust, like the plunge to the downside. That's why we will continue watching over it. So the level that we would like to monitor is right here. That's confidence support on the following temperature, 1180, 1190. And take a look at the weekly pivot support one will also stand very close to it, 1178.60. So that will be our support cluster that will be simultaneously the indicator of the strength of the market. So if market will show the gradual action right to this area, but will hold above this area, this will keep the chance on the greater A, B, C, bottom, D pattern. But if market will show some acceleration and break through it, that will probably tell us that no retracement will follow anymore and we will be watching for a possible short entry. That's a significant moment. In other words, uh, the strength of this level will be sufficient to understand uh, whether the market has the intention to continue move higher and the strength and power to continue move higher by keeping about the holding above this level. Because if market really is bullish and uh, it intends to continue move high it should not break this level that's simple so that's all that we could say currently on the gold market unfortunately guys we can't provide you uh, the clear setups and clear patterns for trading except again the same patron that we have discussed on Friday I mean this uh, short-term keep trade um, we, our major action probably stands ahead in the nearest future on the common week and we just now continue keep continue watching what will happen over the significant support that will that should give us the clue what to expect from the markets either further upward action or we should be ready for a downward breakout